in the paint world, there's a lot of false advertising. I'm just gonna say it straight up. There's a lot of lies. The dresser is done. I put it in AI and I posted it on Facebook. There are almost 3,000 likes. My fake AI background got me a lot more engagement than a regular photo, but I'm struggling with it because I'm wondering if it's misleading. And it's called a pock. A pock of there. <laughs> This week, I show you how to style things that I found in the thrift store. We have a fun project and a lot of things in the paint world. Some good and some bad. We're gonna talk about it coming up. Oh my gosh, it has been a while since we have made a video. Whenever you see us stop making videos for a couple weeks, it's just because we have a bunch of work to do. It's not that I don't want to. I miss YouTube so much. We've been gone because- What's going on, guys? We have missed you. Where have we been? Oh my gosh, it's been a crazy ride. Debbie is gonna give you all the details. We're launching six new colors of the Jamie Ray paint. That is coming up in a couple of weeks. You guys are gonna drop over dead with these colors. I want to finish this dresser that I started. I have just been fascinated with the AI. I know a lot of people say it's evil or it's gonna take over the art world. There's an app where you just speak into your phone and you give it keywords and I just said things like bohemian, decrepit, dresser in chartreuse and purple with mixed media print and old French castle. And then it gives me all of these images. I'm looking at them and I'm like so inspired. So I am going to paint my dresser based on these images. You guys can tell me if I captured the look, which image you like the best. We're back and it's gonna be fun, so. The first thing I did was mix up a custom purple, three parts kissing booth to one part blue iris. It's super easy to get a custom color because our paint is so heavily pigmented. Now I'm painting right over an existing transfer in my bedroom. What do you have to say about everything? <laughs> what did you think of my chandelier art? I like them. I know, you like all those flowers hanging from the ceiling, right? <laughs> Bobby's upset because there's been a lot of things going on in the paint industry that have been threatening to my business, and he's been giving me advice. But before I get into that, we went to Home Goods and we got some decor for my dad's beach cottage. My sister just got this cute iron bistro set. We're not getting the side tables, just the two chairs and the table. Look at how happy that is. We got some faux plants for grandpa and some new pillows for her sofa. Love it. Where are you gonna put it? In my patio. There she goes. So Danielle is not getting the table because the leg was loose, there was a bolt missing, and apparently it's stripped, and Home Goods is only offering to refund her $50, and that's the cost it would take to repair it. So she opted to just give it back. Not too sad. This is my dresser right now, and these are the colors that I think I wanna use. I have all my colors right here, and I have my inspiration photos. Sometimes you can psych yourself out. You can just look for inspiration for so long that you just feel frozen. That's kinda how I'm feeling right now. I've like procrastinated on this thing for weeks. I love how this turned out with my new stencils. I wanna incorporate that bohemian blue with the purple and the bright chartreuse greens. That's why I have all these colors. Queen Bee, custom custom purple that I mix that's in here. Monet's Garden, Blue Iris, and Mermaid Tail. I'm just gonna go for it. Took Hay Sailor and I mixed a little drop of black, just a little bit to make a dark, dark navy blue. I'm gonna put that on. Technology can be wonderful, but it also can be confusing at times and downright misleading at times. Okay, I got the dark blue on there. Now I'm gonna blend it with the Monet's Garden. I've worked hard to build my brand, DIY Paint. We are passionate about supporting our retailers. I keep this channel positive and inspiring. So what I'm about to say is difficult, but I'm doing it because our retailers and my brand are being threatened. Last week, one of my retailers sent me the following screenshot. I've blacked out the name of the woman who wrote this because she felt horrible once she realized she was mistaken. And I also blacked out the name of the other paint brand because some of my retailers also sell this paint and I don't wanna hurt them either. What are you doing? You got your baby? 
You got your baby? Where's your daddy? What are we doing today? I'm letting you buy new lumber. We're putting in two new posts. Okay. Some of my retailers have been questioned by their customers this week because their customers are confusing us with another brand for reasons that I will get into later. But we are not associated with any other brand, good or bad. I support several members of my family with the paint company, as well as many small, wonderful businesses who sell DIY paint across the U.S. and Canada. The cards were blowing out of the little things, so he put wire here. Look, this one looks like Levi, and I love this one. When I find myself in the middle of an emotionally charged situation, I like to completely remove myself from the environment. So my sister and I went to go see The Chosen, and then we celebrated the birthday of a friend. <laughs> a dessert, okay. lava yes. cake. This is how you crack a coconut. I did not know. You mm. set it on fire. Can it explode? That's gonna be a video. And Here we go. Whoa, look at that. I didn't know that would do that. That's crazy. There. Do you see how that happens? Oh, it's the can just Can I smell that? Not only is DIY paint not associated with any other brand, we are extremely different than any other paint formula, even other paints that claim to be a clay paint. Look at all of the clay that is building up around the edge of the container. That is the super expensive part. The more clay you put in your paint, the more pigment you need for your paint, and that gets really expensive. We are probably one of the most expensive paints to make, yet we price our paint like all of the rest. We've worked hard to let you know that our paint is unique, but there are marketing messages out there that are very confusing to the consumer. There are paint companies out there, I know of two of them, who would go to Home Depot and they get big vats of hardware store paint and color it and rebottle it and sell it for more and pass it off as chalk I am painting in my bedroom. I'm not using a painter's tarp, the windows are closed, and I'm not worried because this paint is super easy cleanup. Just nine ingredients. The ingredients we use don't pass the blood-brain barrier. Our standards are higher than what the cosmetic industry requires for makeup or toothpaste. And my dad turned 80 this year, so I wanna give him products that will not compromise his health. I'm so beautiful. We're going to Grandpa's house to do a little decorating. All right, we're here. We're gonna give him a list of projects for his own house. Give him that painting over there. Oh, cute! And look at that little shell lamp. That belongs to me. Yeah, he hung that up. Actually, I really like that. I like how it's upside down. That's very industrial chic. There is another one. Nice. Okay, there's Grandpa's boat. Okay, we're making Grandpa a list. He did a good job on those. But. <laughs> <laughs> no but we like them we're making a to-do list to spruce up your house a little bit she wants you to make another one so is anything gonna change drastically oh yeah we're gonna gut the place <laughs> My dad needed some storage solutions for his tiny home, so I went to my favorite thrift store and I also found this pillow that's now on the website. This is the little corner piece. I think it is perfect for my dad and a great price. Okay, we just found this industrial locker. I cannot get it open and there is no price on it. I'm thinking it'll be perfect for my dad's house. I'm so beautiful without you. My booth space is just a few doors down from my favorite consignment store. So I stopped in to fluff my space and see what is new. It is the Encinitas Antique Mall, just down the street from Orange Theory. Pretty without you. up this cute chippy footstool and this pillow. I'm gonna style it in my home coming up. Since you left with your life. 
When you blend, you want two wet colors side by side. You want to move your brush in all different directions and have separate brushes for each color, using water to get the paint to move. You can really dilute our paint because it's five times more pigmented. Now it is time to add in the pale aqua and the dark aqua. So we're going to use Old 57 and Mermaid Tail. So this is what we have on the bottom. We're going to carry it on up. Looking cuter. I'm so If you would like to see for yourself how different and unique our paint is, many of our retailers are participating in a free make and take on March 28th to launch our new colors. Check out the links below to find a retailer near you and see if they are participating in the launch party. I went back to the antique mall space to get my favorite transfer that I wanted to add to this dresser. And I also found a lamp and a mirror for my dad's house. In the depths of silence, where echoes remain, you are the sunrise. Okay, we found a mirror for Grandpa. It's $79. We'll probably paint it up. And... What you doing, Dad? Paint. <laughs> and I'm using Debbie's paint, and it's called a puck. A pot to carry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at I'm got I got this cool mirror. Debbie said to paint it a pot of carry. <laughs> a pot <of> carry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part where it gets really exciting. You can see that I've blended a lot of blues and greens, and I have a little purple down here. I'm going to use my stencil. I'm going to bring more purple in. I've got all the paint relief. Most definitely use the cowgirl coral and the kissing booth. I'm going to use them together with these. These are my stencils right here, but also I definitely need a bird in there, right? I need a bird, so I'm going to use the bird stencil. Maybe some butterflies flies but here's the genius part one of my retailers weathered wings she just posted on Facebook today about putting a transfer down and then stenciling over the top and it was like a multimedia layered look there is this collage artist on Instagram and she does beautiful beautiful painted flowers Kathy is her name I'm gonna put a photo up of her work but it's all collage and it just got me thinking that I could use this transfer right here in combination with the stencils and make more of a multimedia type I'm gonna layer I'm gonna make it like a collage situation so I just took my trash out and I went to the dumpster and this is the first thing I found someone is throwing this away look what else I found. Debbie's not answering her phone, but this is the pile of trash. I'm totally keeping this, and I think Debbie would love this. It's just like a wooden post, like hanger thing. And this is my frame I'm getting rid of. That one's from me, but the rest is from some. Oh no, wait, what the? Like fiberglass? This is so funny. I think this is literally a sh planer for shaping. I gotta call Zach. I probably won't use the sheep. Sorry, Jamie, because I'm just, I'm not a sheep kind of, I mean, I like goat cheese. I forgot to say something. I have this big sheet of decoupage paper right here. It's Marie Antoinette. I might put her on the side and then give her a bunch of flowers and birds. I did that before and that dresser sold right away. So I might do that. I, I don't know. Design these stencils to be like training wheels so you can get the look of hand painted art. So you can see that I just created a chalk outline because my dresser curves and it was a lot easier just to create the lines and go in and blend. So I'm using various shades of purple for the under color and then I'm using white over the top. I am editing this video right now. I want to make a whole separate video about my experience in the paint world for the last 12 years. I have a lot to say about that, but I realize that you may not be here for that. So I want to give you the option to not watch that video when it comes out. The whole reason why I'm talking about this is because it needs to be said immediately. My initials are 
Debbie Beard, DB, the same initials as a company that is being criticized right now. I do not want to be confused with any other paint brand, good or bad. And there are some paint brands that are very good. There will always be brands that operate in a way that you may not agree with. The only way to really make change is not through cancel culture. The way you make change is by taking the time to read the ingredients, to understand what you're buying, to look into the company that you're purchasing from. A lot of times the little companies have the better quality products. If you think about In-N-Out Burger, they are a wonderful burger, but they're very different than the huge burger chains. There are limitations to scaling a business when you're offering really quality products. A lot of your profit goes into your actual product instead of the marketing of that product. Make choices based on what you want. I'm also talking about this because it has hurt my retailers. People have said that they're unsubscribing to Dion of the Turquoise Iris and Jamie Ray Vintage. They are confusing our brand and my retailers with another brand. We don't want to be confused with another brand. We want you to know why we're so special and what is in our paint because it is very, very different. And we want you to know that so that you have all the information. Of language maximalist extra electra plus petticoat pink and this custom purple that I mixed up, which is three parts kissing booth, one part blue iris. Now I am going to recreate the look of that flower right there. I'm blending these flowers from dark to light. I have that darkest purple as my under color and then the pure white as the overlay and I'm taking shades of purple and blending in between going from the center of the flower out. This is how far I have gotten. It's hard to show you all the details but I also wanted to show you the reality of the mess. If you let DIY paint sit for 24 hours, you can apply transfers without a top coat. That's because the clay adheres really well. And I put it into AI. It's a way to make you step back and take a look at it. And I realized that I wanted more moodiness. So I just went in and I added all this purple and dark green. I put paint right over the transfer here. And with our paint, you can just spray water on that and rub off the paint. What is this, Ellie? Oh. What? This is Turkish uh, eggs with bread. What is Turkish That's eggs? It's yogurt and eggs. Yogurt and, and eggs? Yogurt and poached eggs. How do you? Butter and chili. <gasps> it's really good. We're about to eat it. Does it look good? Oh, how'd you learn how to do all this? Stuff? Amazing. Nini. Mm -hmm. Too cold out? Nini. Okay, my dad sealed his um, entertainment center. It's looking so good. I found this locker at Consignment Classics. Now it has all my dad's t-shirts and jeans and his cowboy boots. Yeah. This corner shelf for $70 to go behind his door. He's gonna paint it with Hey Sailor. The paint is highly concentrated and pigmented, so it takes very little to cover a piece like this, less than a sample chart. So what are you doing now, Dad? Sealing it. <laughs> and what are you using? Debbie's special seal. Right there, see? It's good. What are you doing? I'm fixing the fan. <laughs> Thank you. What, what did you bring me? No, what did you bring me? <laughs> are you going to go silent on me again? I brought you a steak. He did? What kind? Ribeye. It looks delicious. I can hardly wait. Thank you. All right, I am going to see if I can find something to paint red. I had to go back to the thrift store for an upcoming project, and I found that tray along the way. You are gonna see how I styled it coming up, along with this camera too. And that, and there it is. I'm gonna paint that. for church. I really want to stop and get that thing, but I don't know if there's pests in there and I need to get to church. This is painful, but I'm going to practice some self-control. Now I'm adding the bird stencil to my dresser. I want to tell you that I have very little experience hand painting. I am just learning, but these stencils make it really fun and easy 
to use. If you don't know, I launched a stencil course. This one just took an, an hour and this one took almost two hours and you can't post videos like that on YouTube. Nobody's gonna wanna watch them. So we have a course. If you're interested in the course, I'm gonna put the link down below. But I wanted to do some in-depth tutorials and all of this was done with the stencil. I love it. I'm gonna take these over to my antique mall space. I designed 11 or 12 more stencils. Those are coming. So these are some of the things I've created with these stencils. They are so easy to use, anybody can do this, and a lot of the DIY paint retailers sell the stencils as well. We will put the link in the description box. Sunday or spell, but looking back, I was cursed. You left me to drown and sail away on your ship. I'm using our golden ticket to go over the hardware, and I have one more story about why you should look into what it is you're purchasing. This is our liquid patina right here. It is a top coat, but you can also use it for decoupage and transfer gel. When I was with a different manufacturer, she made three different labels for it. It was the same product in all three jars. When the customers would walk into a store, oh, let me buy this because it's decoupage medium and let me buy the fabric medium. And they were essentially walking out the door with the same product and paying for three of them. I asked her about that and she didn't like that. She canceled her contract with me. I want you to see how different the dresser is before I put the wax on. Our paint dries a lot lighter because of all the clay in it. Most paints dry darker. You're going to watch it dramatically change. The wax is also super clean and very soft with the ingredients on the container. It does not take a lot of elbow grease. Lots of people like to use a top coat because they don't trust that their furniture will be protected. But because the clay paint dries so hard, wax is enough. Letting you know, you, you're not alone Letting you know, you, you're not alone this is what the dresser looks like after 24 hours of the wax drying. I put a sock on my hand. I spend about 10 minutes. It's super soft and easy. The dresser is done. I put it in AI. Ellie's gonna insert it right over here. My question is, am I lying to you when I use AI to promote my photo? I said in the description of the post, this is a fake bedroom, but the dresser is real. Hardly anyone read those comments because nobody reads anything anymore. If you look closely at the photo, AI gave the bottom of my dresser an extra leg. It has five legs, not four. I love AI, but it also can be deceptive, I think. I don't know. It will probably just get very normalized and everybody will know that it's just a fake world and everything is fake. And on that note, I'm going to show you all the things I got at the thrift store and how I styled it in my home. You can purchase all of these items under the YouTube tab on our website. I love you. Madeline. I love you, Madeline. I love you, Madeline. I'm madly in love with you. From the moment I eyes on you Every breath was a gift Felt like I was living in a dream From the moment that I felt your kiss There was something that served me like crazy
there's one more really fun thing that I want to tell you. Next month, I am going to teach at Dion's Creative Retreat. It's a five-day retreat. I'm going to put the information down below. There's just a few tickets left, but I would love to meet you in person. It's going to be me and Dion and a bunch of other amazing creatives. I hope you join us. If you're a last minute kind of person, grab your ticket, meet me there. It's going to be really good. Find DIY paint in your area or to become a DIY paint retailer, click the link below. Oh, thanks for watching. One thing, we put all of our ingredients on the can. There are very few paint companies that do that. These paint companies, they say that their paint is clay based. They put about a teaspoon of clay in their paint. That is the equivalent of taking a stick of margarine and putting a tablespoon of butter in the margarine and calling it butter. That is all that I want to say about it for now, but stay tuned because I've got a lot more to say.